Hey guys, so for this video, we are going to be showing you how to recharge the AC uh, for the Evo 9. I guess it applies to uh, the Evo 8s as well. So uh, this is the same day as we did the, uh, uh, the bumper inserts and the reverse uh, switch install, but I figured I'd, I'd split this as a separate video. So for those of you that are just looking just to figure out how to uh, recharge your AC, uh, it, you won't have to sift through the other stuff that we've done for today. So anyway, this is my first time really doing this. So what I've done is picked up um, one of these from the auto shop store. Uh, I'm hoping there is no leak in the car. Uh, I am just gonna just go ahead and just try this. It was with my discount. I got it for about 20 bucks. So I figured if all it is is just a recharge, this will do. I could have gone and rented the tools to determine the pressure on the AC system, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I've just done a lot today and I gotta uh, do a bunch of other things this evening. So I just kind of wanted a quick fix to see if it is a quick fix. So anyway, let's give this a shot and see if it works. And if it does, uh, great. If not, uh, there's more uh, <laughs> content coming in the way that by uh, way of trying to troubleshoot the AC system and maybe you know replacing certain things like condenser, uh, dryer, uh, compressor. So uh, hopefully we don't have to go through that. But anyway, uh, let's give this a shot. Okay guys, just um, to kind of go over it step by step just so that I can um, you know work on it without having to worry about uh, taking uh, video because I may not have the opportunity to because of the fact that I need both hands. So basically what you do, and it should be typical for every can, uh, is you, you twist the top so that you can puncture the seal. Um, and you have to have the car running and on full AC blast uh, on recirc. Uh, I am gonna have my doors closed and depending on the ambient temperature, uh, right now it's about 85 to 90 degrees uh, here in PA. Uh, and so you look at the chart that's usually on the, on the can and tells you uh, up to what pressure they, they want you to um, get up to uh, so that it can be considered uh, fully charged. Now, uh, for today, uh, it is supposed to be at 45 to 55 PSI. So I'm gonna shoot for 50. Um, and the way to do it is uh, the convenient part of the Evo is the fact that the, and I don't know about the Evo 8, but I know on the Evo 9s, you know, that's the only thing I'm familiar with, is uh, the low point is where it needs to be. And um, it's conveniently placed up top. Uh, it was very inconvenient to have this line to be able to get the alternator up, but I guess, you know, um, you can't win them all. So you have a cap on the low point, you unscrew that, and the, the coupler uh, or the port that comes with the can is um, the same size as the low point. The high point is, a, is of a different uh, size, so it won't fit, so you, you can't mess it up. Um, and then once you get that connected, the car is running, uh, the way to do it is you monitor uh, the gauge to make sure that it's, or at least in my case, is between 45 to 55. And while you have, while you're depressing this, well, actually, first you have to unlock it. Uh, once you unlock it, uh, you release the pressure by uh, pressing on it and going from a 12 to 3 o'clock or 12 to 9 o'clock motion while you're pressing on this button right here uh, to release uh, the Freon the 134a and i'm pretty sure you know what i didn't even check that i just assumed so it's 134a and that is 134a oh one thing i forgot to kind of note uh this thing came with clips and what you do is you clip this onto the uh, center air vent and this will change color um it'll turn blue uh, once you get up to uh, cool temps so we're gonna go ahead and start the car I got the smart clips on and I, since I only have one key for this car, what I did was I just cracked the window open uh, just so that I have um, a way to unlock the car if I needed to, because uh, if just think, I'm not sure about this car yet, I don't know if it auto locks. Um, so 
anyway uh, it's on neutral got it on e-brake uh, just gonna start the car I'm not gonna put it on any gear otherwise uh, poor Supra um, let's get it started Put on max AC, put on full blast, have it on recirc, AC is on. Um, yeah, it's, it's warm air that's coming out. So let's go and run this. connected the uh, the can on the low side and the pressure was really high it was in the 90s so something else is going on with my AC system uh, I'm not an AC expert so I'm gonna do a little bit more troubleshooting but in the meantime I'm gonna try and save the content so that I can and since miles is 330 um, you know it, you know it, it takes a while for his system to get cold uh, we're gonna try and use this and not waste it and put it on his car uh, so we're gonna get his car pulled in and we're gonna move the evo back and um, pressurize this system with with uh, additional freon but as far as the evo is concerned sunroof that's gonna have to be used a lot okay so we got the 330 in uh the low pressure line is here on the 330 uh, i'm gonna Probably assume it's the same for uh, the uh, other E46s. Put the AC on high and put it on restart and close your window. Okay, guys, so we got it done although we kind of ran out of uh charge because it only got up to 39 and it requires 55 uh actually the max is at 55 so we were kind of aiming at 50 so maybe down the road maybe we'll grab another can uh it's a failed attempt to do it on the uh on the evo i'm a little disappointed uh because of the fact that there's um more issues with the ac uh, system on that car uh than expected so yeah, I may just bring it into uh, the dealership or Brian over at Whitmer uh, and get him to kind of diagnose what was, what's going on and get it fixed because I am going to daily the Evo and, you know, at this point, I want the AC running. Uh, I do have a sunroof, so that's a plus. I can let the heat out that way and just enjoy the, the wind. But if I'm going to do that, I need to at least get uh, an exhaust or something to hear that Evo rumble. Uh, Anyway, all right, guys, so uh, till next time, uh, be kind and stay humble. See ya.